Hello Tube, going up to Hanbury Hall, walking, busy nap, making my head itch, walk up to Hanbury Hall, I've come from over there, the witchboard over there, there's a stile there which I just climbed over. My soul descended in there. Nice views. Can't wait to do this, these walks with the dogs. At the moment, it's difficult because I tried to take them out, and the little one pees on the landing. Because there's no step, there's no carpet, you say. I think that's why it's, it's hard. It's like concrete, and I can't, don't think you can tell the difference between concrete inside and conc and outside. I mean, Star does because she's older now. She's about eleven months old now. The little one is about four months. Plus, there's the problem that she drags him when I when I walk them together because uh, it's on a joint lead. She, although he is getting better to be fair, but the first couple of times she was dragging him along and he was putting his paws into the floor saying, no, nope, I'm not moving. He does that for a few seconds and then he chases her and he keeps doing that over and over again. <laughs> but he's getting better though at running and walking. Um, but as I say, it's difficult to walk them at the moment outside. Um, because what happens is I try to I put them on the lead, on the joint lead, and he pees. Uh, I suppose I could carry him, but that would uh, I don't know. Um, what happens is he pee, mind you, I would I lock my door if I'm if I'm carrying him at the same time. It's a lot easier with an extra person, to be honest. That's um. But obviously, I let them run round indoors. Not on the carpet, but indoors. Um, and then obviously he'll get better in a few months. And hopefully I'll be able to do these walks with, with them too then. Because, mind you saying that, that's blocked off, look. So, how would they get through there? They'll have to carry them both. They're quite light though. I could easily carry both of them over there. So I've done my nails. <laughs> to, uh, the, it's about five o'clock. Thursday. Yep. I might go to McDonald's after this, treat myself. <sighs> treat myself to a slap up lunch. Slap up tea. Cheap, cheap, cheap and cheerful. If there was a chip shop in which one, I'd get there, but there isn't. So. As you can see, not all of my, my habits are healthy. Definitely when I eat food, I tend to eat unhealthy food a lot of the time, to be honest. I have to balance it with exercise then. It's a bit like um, one of them steam trains, trains, isn't it? The faster the steam train goes, the more coal you have to put into it. Same with the body. If you eat a lot of food, you have to... You have to speed up the metabolism, which is uh, something to be done. Food, food, or yeah. So like someone's walking towards me. It's going to be nice. Take another video of this. Hambury, Hambury's over there. Um, yeah, I won't film people because they don't want to be filmed. Oh, there's the towers of Witch Pool there. Hello. Hi. I'm raising my masts in Witch Pool. Ah, my phone's very pink. <laughs> Just makes it a bit too obvious. <coughs> I'm not bothered. 
This man's about my dad's age. I was thinking he might he might just ignore me. And he actually said hello, actually. So like people over the age of sixty tend to be a bit a bit sort of rude. I find in my in my experience, I find people over the age of sixty can be quite rude. <clears throat> out of touch, out of touch. I think is the right word I'm looking for. Out of touch with not all over sixties, but a lot of them. Yes, uh, there's the maths in Witchbold, Hanbury Hall, National Trust, Hanbury Hall. Yeah. I always walk that way actually, so I might try walking this way instead for a change. Because I've never actually done this way, so. <clears throat> I was thinking about walking down to Bromsgrave, but then I thought, well, I don't know. Because I was thinking I'd prefer a day without buzzes today, so I thought I'd just stick to this walk. At least with this walk, I haven't got to do any buzzes. So, blossom trees. I do like blossom trees. Meet up with Kath next week, that should be good because I haven't seen her in ages. I haven't seen her since before Christmas, a couple of months before Christmas. We're talking that, but I think she's very busy with different things that she does. So, I'll keep myself busy with the countryside. I'll tell you, the dogs keep me busy, I'm running around after. You definitely got to like cleaning with puppies. Definitely. In fact, you have to love cleaning if you've got puppies. Because you do, definitely do more cleaning when you have puppies. More washing, more mopping, and then more cleaning the mop out. Uh, oh, that's an old tree, isn't it? I wouldn't change them for the world. I find Cavaliers, I mean I love Luna and I didn't want to give her away, but I find Cavaliers a lot easier than... Give me some good luck. Big old tree. I want some good luck. Yes please. Not that I play the lottery, but... Mm. Blessings back. Big old tree. If you look carefully enough, all the trees have their own soul. If you look carefully enough. But you have to really look at the tree in order to see the soul in the tree. That one's a bit broken. What happens when a tree's broken like that, you could ask? What happens to the soul of the tree? Uh, it's a good question. The soul could still be in the tree waiting for it to recover. And if there's no chance of recovery, it's like the human body, if there's no chance of recovering, then it absconds to the higher worlds, the higher planes. Look at that one, that one's definitely that one's definitely done for that one. I wonder how on earth that fell out of the ground. Hmm. You'd think this area is bewitched, to be honest, considering the fact that, um, I thought that was a peacock there. Uh, it's a branch sticking out of that tree. Pretty. It's 
So what I do, it helps my mental health, this does. Doing this walking. It's good for your mental health. It is. God, there's another way to walk there, bloody yeah. Could be walking all day here. I don't know if I want to walk too far. Oh, back. Yeah, I'll give it a go. <laughs> Exploring some new walks. It's good to explore some new walks. When I, do, when I do that walk down by the canal, I get depressed because I'm thinking about Luna or I'm thinking about Daniel. Um, and it just makes me depressed. Um, you know, I really miss Luna. I mean, I didn't really want to give up, to be honest. I was thinking the other day, did I do the right thing? But I was really struggling because she definitely, see, with bulldogs, they're definitely like their own way. It's either their way or no way kind of thing, you know. So, and what I'd have had to have done was bite a male bulldog. Now I've struggled with her, so you can imagine I would struggle a lot more with a male bulldog. So yeah. The Cavaliers are so easy going, it's like, I mean, I mean, Hugo, because he's a boy, he's a bit more boisterous than she is, and he, he attacks her, and I have to tell him not to. I don't think viciously, just playfully, but for instance, my point is, with Luna, she would have put him straight in his place if he tried to do any of that. That's the difference between the Cavalier girl, the, the girl Cavalier and the girl Bulldog. The girl bulldog would have put him straight in his place straight away. She'd be like, uh, she, what's the word like, um, grumpy or mardy or moody or something. Compared to compared to Star, there's a, a big difference. Compared the Cavaliers compared to the bulldogs, there's a big difference. The bulldogs are like, you know. You, I'm in charge kind of thing. That's what bulldogs are like. They're like, I'm in charge. Um, now, I, t I tell you why I was thinking what, the other day if I've done the right thing, because basically my neighbour has been taking a lot of drugs, and my new neighbour on the ground floor, and, uh, and he's been dancing and everything. And, and I noticed my parcel had been open the other day, but luckily nothing had been taken, he just opened it. Um, I was, and then I was panicking. What else could he do next? Could he break into my flat or something? Oh God, it's a bit difficult. This is. Yeah. But then I, I looked at my locks on my front door, and it looks quite secure. It's like a deadlock. It's got like a double lock. And I don't think, I don't think he'd do it because there's a neighbour exactly opposite me. He usually gets back from work by the time I by the time I leave the flat is usually the time he gets back from work. I don't usually leave the flat to about four in the afternoon or something. So it wouldn't be that easy for him to You know what, I've never seen any of this. This is the first time I've seen any of this. Oh, and if you're wondering why I haven't uploaded any videos on YouTube, because I it's been about seven days since I last uploaded a video. It's because I'm only on mobile data these days, so I have to I have to be careful I don't overuse it. Kind of, I mean, you get 100 gigs, but <sighs> stop for a breath. I got 100 gigs on GiftGaff for 20 pounds a month, but I'm getting through that quite quick now. Um, Saying that, because I've been careful the last 
seven days i haven't uploaded any videos because the videos are very long well, the videos are more than it's like 29 minutes kind of thing and i think i can't put upload that because it takes too long to use too much of my data so that's why we'll, i've been waiting until it gets down to about three or four days and then i'm going to upload that's what that's what i do you say i wait when i get 100 gigs again i'll do a few videos and if it goes down too quick, then I stop for, for, for about a week or some more, a few days, and I'll do some more. That's why you sometimes see me doing a few videos at the same time on YouTube, because I've got all this data and I'm trying to use it before, because it doesn't carry on to the following month. <coughs> oh God, I'm swallowing flies. <coughs> Yuck. <clears throat> it doesn't carry on to the following month so so I um, so I wait until there's not long left and I'll upload it which, I, which is what I'm going to do in a day or two try and upload as many videos as I can although I've only got three on my phone at the moment I think <coughs> any gnats No, I've never been this way before. I've never been this way. You know, I actually feel more happy now I've done this. Now I've found a new, a new walk. <laughs> it's got a paw print on it, it looks like. <laughs> Some benches there. Bumblebee. Hello, Mr. Bumblebee. You see? Hello. Where are you off to? There you are. Looking for flowers? Some over there, look. That's it, yeah. Oh, bless. Alright, I need to get over. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. I need to get over this style. This one's quite easy, look. Be bother to walk any further. Maybe a little bit. I don't know where all that goes. It's quite a big area this is actually, isn't it? it? Belongs to the Hanbury family. I think I said what happened on my previous video. She had two lovers at the same time. And I think she killed one of them. Or one of them tried to kill her. And she killed one of them or something like that. I haven't read it in I haven't read it in at least ten years, but I remember there was a tragic story with with the Hanbury family. Um I think I'll walk back now actually. Yeah. There's a tragic story with the Hanbury family where she killed I think a, a lover or a husband or something. Probably a husband because I think she was trying I think she was trying to get rid of him anyway, I think. <laughs> My nose is itchy. Today's the month of Friday. To ring Lee soon, see if I can come. See if he's with. Lee's got COVID, so I haven't been there all week. I haven't seen him since about. Well, I saw him on Saturday, but that was that was outside. Um, but I haven't seen him. I've been in his flat since last Friday. His support workers aren't going into him; they're just dropping him food and stuff through the door. And I thought, no, I don't want it, so I haven't been up. I think his friend Chris has, Chris Chance. Uh, he has. Um, but. Yeah. Oh, what's this now? What's this now? 
Okay. I'll choose to go this way, thank you very much. Oh, there's a nice dog on there. Because I haven't done this walk before, I'm not sure where all the stones are to walk for. As usual, I'll come out the other side and then walk down. Pardon me. It's nice, isn't it? It is nice. I do like living in Richfield. In many ways, it's quite a nice, peaceful kind of village. Um, yeah. Just some new neighbours. I'm, I'm worried. I've been concerned the last couple of days. I'm going to have problems with them. But I haven't so far, apart from my, my, my parcel was open, but I could easily sort that. I could just go to the, I could just go to the post office and ask, can I collect my post? post from there. So that's not a major issue. There was mud outside my front door earlier and I was panicking thinking that my new neighbour had done it, the one that takes drugs. But then I thought, well I spoke to Ian and he's like, you sure the dogs didn't do it? And I thought, oh yeah, they might have, yeah, because I did try, I did take them out last night. I had to leave the pee on the, on the floor, it's on my neck, uh, yeah. It was difficult to pee, the little one peed before I took them out. Now what I've done before is I've had to t put them back in to mop the floor. But what I, to, but what I thought, I thought oh, I'll, just, I'll just take them for a walk and I'll just do it in 10 minutes. Anyway, my neighbour didn't say anything, so... They used neat bleach so you could, people couldn't smell it. I do that in the kitchen as well sometimes, if it smells really strong. I use neat bleach on the kitchen floor. Just a little bit, not much. And obviously I'll keep the dogs out of the way as well, obviously. So... So it's that way then. It looks like the original gate, doesn't it? Gosh. Gosh, that looks original. Wow. That looks like the original... Well, probably not the original original, because that house has been there for about 300 years, but that gate looks a good... That gate could easily be 100 years old. It looks very old. Looks Victorian or something. Hmm. I haven't seen one that old for ages, actually. That looks like iron or something. I haven't used iron for at least 100 years. They use steel, even the railway, and the railways are really old, and even they use steel. I wonder if that's an original gate. It's very old, isn't it? Gosh. Wow. I have not seen a gate that old for... I don't know. I don't even know. Because I grew up in Birmingham. I didn't see old-fashioned old things, really. There's a museum in Hereford that's old. Old than that gate. Um, is, um, there is a museum in Birmingham. In Bourneville, there's a museum. <sighs> Good to explore new walks, I think. So I tend to do the same what walks. You want to cut up my pen top? Uh, paint. I've now varnished it bright pink. <laughs> now there's actually a reason behind that because I was thinking the other day how am I going to avoid microplastics? And I heard the words, why don't you, why don't the things that you hold, like pen tops, because I, I always hold a pen top in my pocket, because um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why, I always have for a long time. And the words what well, I heard in my head, why don't you put some nail varnish on it because it'll stop the now it's just a bit like glue, isn't it? So it'll sort of stop the stop the little tiny pieces of plastic coming off. Ooh, there's another one there, look. Very nice. Very nice. This is what it's like if you walk around here in a, on a weekday. Nobody around, which is just how I like it. 
if I do this walk on a Saturday or Sunday, as you can guarantee there's at least there's at least someone walking around here every time. I don't think anyone lives in that house because it's like a museum. It's part of the National Trust. I mean, they would have at one time, a long time, a long time ago. The Hanbury family. Say twenty-five minutes already. So these videos are long. In fact, I'm going to end it. I think because I have. Yeah, I'll take another one when I get closer to the other side. Yeah. Closer to the other side, that sounds like poltergeist. Mm. Clouds look a bit ominous, don't they? Because I'm aware I do this as well. I, I only watch videos for about 10 minutes and then I start getting bored. That's why I'm going to end the video, I think. All right, blessings, 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 love and blessings.